How's it going everybody? Charles here at Lee Swimming Pools and on today's vlog we're going to be replacing on a Pentair Teleflow variable speed pump the drive. So get ready, sit back in your seat, relax and let us show you exactly what you're going to need to do in case you ever need to replace the drive on your Pentair Teleflow. Basically, a variable speed lift and flow pump. Um, the reason why we have to replace it in the, the drive is because the actual uh, display has to be going wrong. And on that one, there's no display whatsoever. We recently did a replacement on the motor. Uh, the motor was shot on this just after two years to replace the motor. The first thing we want to do is we want to come to the main circuit breaker and we're going to be hitting our trip button. That's going to turn everything off on the pump. No power going to the pump there. And just for any chances, let me just turn off our GFI, making sure that that's off. That's an air blower, and we'll just shut off the water pump, which is most likely going to be for the sprinkler. So we shouldn't have any more power going to the unit as we don't. Okay. All right. So let me set you guys up here. First thing we're going to be doing is we're going to disconnect our, uh, our communication cable, which this goes to our uh, salt system here inside. Uh, just going to screw the knuckle and pull it right out. Okay. Close it with that. Next thing, because we are going to be removing the electrical. So right down here on this side is where we have a knuckle for the liquid type. Just taking that off, getting that ready. Okay. Next thing, we'll be removing those four screws, four screwdriver. As soon as we lift this up, I believe that there's a like a ribbon cable of some sort connecting this top to the bottom there. Yeah, so that cable right there. That's the cable we're going to go ahead and we're going to be removing. Just like so. And we're going to place that to the side. And then here is where our electrical is coming in. So we'll be removing these wires here. And then the drive, to remove the drive from the, from the actual motor, it's these three Phillips screws right here. 
right there. And then there's a quick connect on the back, on the bottom that connects onto the motor itself. This just pulls straight up. So you have your, uh, your top display controller right here. have luck uh, make sure that you're putting back these parts back again we have ours from the old one uh, right here Put back that top. First thing you want to do is you're going to take the drive out right of the bag. sticker right here. That exposes the terminals. See those terminals go right on these terminals right here. So we're gonna get our bag. We're gonna be getting that, that gasket. Like a foam piece of gasket. You see it really when it goes one way, right around that internal screw right there. Okay, just like that. And then uh, this one is kind of broken, so I'm gonna replace that one. So they all look similar. And then your terminal disconnects. You place it right on top of that quick disconnect right there. Find the spot for it and push it down into place right there. Now you take your screws. It comes inside the bag. You put it right into those other three those three slots right there and you torque it down. back ones I torque them pretty good and decent amount not too much I'm not trying to kill it but I want to make sure that I get really good contact between the driver and the motor I'm trying to kill it but I'm trying to make sure that those contacts are really good Okay, now our next step is to uh, we're gonna be putting back our, our liquid type 90. And then we're gonna be feeding our electrical back in. 
and then we're going to be putting back our our connector terminal from the board to here and you can we can already put back our communication cable back on the side for our saw system it's right there it really only goes on one way and then you just tighten it down installed again we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn back on the power So we got our display back on. Now we got to go through the settings and uh, reprogram everything. Uh, we're going to do the programming on another video. So this is our video here on installing a new drive on a Pentair Teleflow VS pump. If you have any questions regarding this installation, if you have any issues with your drive, definitely contact the manufacturer. If you're not getting any communication or the display went out like our, like it did in ours, you know, simply contact your pool professional uh, or contact Pentair directly, and then uh, they'll uh, ship it out to your pool professional, and then, so they can do the warranty um, for it if it's under warranty. If it's not under warranty, well, you have at least you have a little basis on how to uh, replace your drive on your IntelliFlow. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit the uh, red subscribe button. Hit the notifications bells. Give us a thumbs up. Like and subscribe our page. Please share it to all your friends. We need your support. Thank you so much again. On to the next one. My name is Charles, signing out.